friends. Okay, we are, we have done our painting with ink on our, our flow binder journal, our flow binder zine, whatever we want to call it. Um, now, you guys, it's time to add, and what I'm going to add, you don't have to do. Um, you can leave your zine exactly like this. Or, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get some of the glare off, my friends. Um, or you can do what I'm going to do. Now, what I love to do at this point is add some molding paste. I use Artist Loft Acrylic Molding Paste. Someone gave this to me. I've never bought it. I don't know how much it is. I only know <laughs> that I love it. And I really do, I love using it. So there is, a, and I will find that link and put it below there. Jenny Belly has a recipe for a DIY molding paste that uses baking soda. And I've used it and it is great. I mean, it works really, really well. But since someone did give me this molding paste, I decided that I would use that today. I've got a little stencil. I think my art angel sent this to me. It's one of my very favorite stencils in the whole wide world. I do see that we have um, our front denoted right here. Um, as I start working with my molding paste, this may get covered up. So just to denote the front of the book, you guys, I'm going to paste on an image. I think that is a wee too big, you know, um, let's see what else we have in our, oh, that might work. I think that would work very nicely. All right, so did you see that decision-making process? Did you see how fast that went when I don't have a lot of choices, when I am just using this, you know, just using my pocket from my flow binder? I am going to trim this up. I think it'll look super neat. It kind of goes along with the, the kind of vintagey theme of this book. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that looks great. All right, let's go ahead and Mod Podge that down. I really like the way that looks. So, you know, it's cool because the the background images have kind of melted into the book. Again, you know, this is Dilution Spray and, and Dilution's Ink, so we're picking up a lot of color because this stuff never stabilizes. And that's my, <laughs> my one big err with this product is that it does not stay stable. On the other hand, you got kind of a cool looking effect there, so... Um, can't really worry about it, right? Um, yeah, worrying about art. That, uh -uh. <laughs> not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to take this stencil and just do a tiny bit of molding paste here. Uh, guys, don't do molding paste along the... Um, along the um, the folds of your paper. It makes it super hard to fold at the end. But I have done it all over the paper and it's been like, it's, it's kind of tedious because then you end up with like these little weird chippy bits. One of my favorite things is stars. So I am going to put a few stars here and there. Another really beautiful thing about these little zines, journals, whatever you want to call them, is that they're small. And, you know, you just don't have to spend a lot of time um, putting things on them. And a little bit, you know, certainly does go a super long way. I almost got that one over the seam. I can promise you that that little star is going to chip off. But oh well. 
it's going to chip off a little. It'll add to the distressed nature of the piece, won't it? What I like to do is I like to kind of put some molding paste on my finger. That's too much. And kind of go over the edges here. And it kind of gives gives the, the, the uh, zine a wee bit of definition. This is another little Jenny Belly trick. She just, you know, if you don't know Jenny Belly, oh my goodness. She's, she's the queen of mixed media. All right. I don't want to do anything else because I, I can see me smearing the... Um, my molding paste stars I have down here. All right, guys, at this point, you will want to let your zine dry. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to kind of choose some images that I want to put into my zine. So I've got my little pocket of images here. Again, I'm not dragging out the scrap bin, the scrap barrel, the scrap barrel, <laughs> the scrap box, nothing like that. I am using, I am using a pocket of stuff. Okay. All right. I, um, I kind of like this. Kind of like the high that we had a while ago that we put in here. I'm wondering if it might fit. It might be too cutesy to to use on this piece. Okay, let's let's figure out what we want to do here. Um, I think it might be a little cutesy to use there. Yeah, that's a little too cutesy. Um, let's not focus on words right this minute. Let's just. I kind of like this, and I really like the big typewriter. It was just a little big, you know, that we had. Let's slip that in there. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can kind of cut that out just a little bit. And maybe I would tear it, but I'm a wee afraid to tear it. I have an antique typewriter, and it's one of my... 19 things to do before 2019 to get that typewriter out of my closet and start to use it. But I do wonder, and maybe you guys might know, is there, um, is there a good, a good place to order, um, to order like vintage ribbons and stuff for typewriters? I'm not sure. Hey, I like that. That looks really good. I think I might put it right there. Okay, so we've got this image. We know what we want to do with it. So let's just kind of put that to the side. I really do like these reinforcements. I like the color of them, so I know I'm going to use that. Um, I love the suitcase, but I'm, I'm wondering if the suitcase... Yeah, okay, so the suitcase is going to fit. Uh, of course, we've got a butterfly down here. We got to have us a butterfly, and I kind of am crazy about the pointing hand. I love those kinds of things, too. And with a little trimming, this is going to work as well. I know I've got this. Okay, so, so here's what I'm thinking, y'all. I'm thinking this down here. Um, this is the back of our book, of our zine. Mm, so I don't really know what to do there. I'm going to turn this this way. Remember, we've got to let this dry. So this is, I'm, I'm not going to glue anything down right now. I really do like the suitcase. We've already got a, a light bulb here because this was our indicator that this end up, you know, as we're working on the book. And I really do like that. And, of course, I love the butterfly. So those, that's my, that's my thinking right now. After I get these elements uh, glued down, uh, Mod Podge down, then I'll go back and add some words. But right now, I just I got to step away. <laughs> Let this dry. It's the hardest part is just letting things dry. I'll be back quite soon to finish up this little zine. Thanks, y'all.